Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to Waste or Worth It Wednesday. So today's video is going to be just a little bit different than the normal Waste or Worth It Wednesday videos that I do. I know that I usually tend to talk about new products that just hit either drugstore or high ends, but I had asked you guys last week what type of videos you guys would like to see for a Waste or Worth It Wednesday. And I got some suggestions to do primers. So I went on the hunt for some primers and I just took out some primers that were in my makeup collection. And I wanted to share with you guys primers that I think are totally worth your time. And maybe products that I don't think you should even bother. So if you guys want to know which product is worth it or total waste of your money, then just keep on watching. So here I have four products that I want to talk about. So these are the four products that I am going to be talking about. This is the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. This is the Elf Poreless Face Primer. This is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. And last but not least, we have the Black Radiance Complexion Perfection Shine Control Primer. So first of all, these are the primers that I use because I have really oily skin. As you guys know, I've said this a million times. So the primers that I will be talking about today are primers that work best for me, for my oily skin. And honestly, it's been a battle to find the best primer. And I think I have found it so far. Um, most of these, or actually all of these, are drugstore which I know you ladies appreciate a good drugstore primer. So I'm going to start with my least favorites and then I will move on to just my holy grail primer. So unfortunately, this is my least favorite primer. This is again the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer and this is an 850 Partners in Prime. So on the back here, I'm just going to read what it says. It says it's a magic potion. It refines the pores. It fills in fine lines. It brightens complexion and it evens the skin tone. Now, it's not the worst, honestly, but I just don't feel like it says, I don't feel like it does what it says it's going to do. I don't notice the difference between my pores looking a little bit more filled in or my wrinkles being a little bit more filled in. Now, with this product, it is something that you kind of have to get used to it. I will show you a little bit here. First of all, the scent is something that you kind of have to get used to because it has a very like paint type of smell. When you apply it to your hand, you get this white primer. Now, when you first touch it, you're like, this is not a primer. Primers usually have a silicone s type of feel, and this doesn't. But as you rub it into the skin, as it really blends into the skin, well, let me say this first. It first feels like almost like a lotion. But the more that you rub it in, it starts to get the like silicone feel, but it's not overwhelming. So, I don't know. I just, first of all, like I said, I just didn't notice that it made a huge difference when it came to my pores. They were still the same size. Um, it didn't control any of my oiliness, which is what I'm always looking for in a primer. I always look for a primer that's going to control my shine. And unfortunately, that one doesn't provide that. I would say definitely skip this and just get something else because it just, it didn't do anything for me. My second least favorite would be the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This claims to fill in lines and reduce the appearance of enlarged pores. Now, I don't hate this product, but I don't exactly love it. And let me tell you again why. First of all, again, the smell is just... You know what this reminds me a lot? When you're cleaning, like when you're deep cleaning and you use like that pine sole, I, I believe that it's called, that's what it reminds me of. So it reminds me of a house cleaning product. Now this one does have a little bit more of that silicone feel to it, which I know that silicone based primers are not the best for us oily girls because I know that can make it a little bit worse. Now this one again, I don't notice a difference between my pores um, being reduced. I don't notice that it fills in my fine lines. Now that I've learn a little bit more about primers and exactly which ones are good for oil oily skin i would just say to skip this again if you do have oily skin i just it's no point no. 
Now this is the NYX Angel Veil and this is a skin perfecting primer. It is oil free which is perfect for us oily skin girls. Here on the back it says treat your skin to this ultra velvety oil free primer. Feels lighter than a cloud and leaves skin looking and feeling divine. I love this product. Now this can be a little bit pricey for NYX and I know that NYX products are getting pricier as they come out with products I feel like but I think this product is worth it. I was lucky enough to get mine for 50% off I think or 40% off so I only paid $8 for it but I think this retails for $15. This is a pricey drugstore product but I think it's worth every penny and let me tell you why. First of all, I do feel like my skin looks so smooth and even when I apply this. And I don't notice that it fills in my pores, which unfortunately it is a bummer because it's such a good primer. But I do feel like it controls my oil just a tad bit. I love applying this underneath my foundation just because I feel like my foundation glides on when I apply it. And I feel like it just holds on to the foundation every minute that I can. So I do feel that my makeup lasts a little bit longer when I am wearing this NYX Angel Veil. Honestly, I haven't been wearing it for the last couple of weeks because I've been wearing another primer that I will be talking about shortly. But I absolutely love, love, love this. If you're looking for a primer specifically to fill in your pores, you probably will like this again because it doesn't do that for me. But I absolutely love it and I think it's totally worth it if you are wanting a base um, before your makeup just so you can have a really clean looking smooth um, surface before you apply your foundation I think you're absolutely going to love this and I know that Ulta always has sales with NYX where they have them buy one get one half off so if you haven't had a chance to try this I highly suggest it and then the last primer that I wanted to talk about is this one by the uh, by the brand Black Radiance this is the complexion perfection shine shine control primer Thanks to you guys, I was able to find this. I know that some Walgreens and other places carry it. Honestly, I was just too impatient to go looking for it because my Walgreens carries zero to nothing of good makeup. So I ended up just getting mine off of eBay. This thing is amazing. It's like God touched this with his hands and just made it for us oily people. It's literally the best thing. That was a little dramatic. But it's literally the best primer that I've come across. Now, I want to compare this to the Makeup Forever um, Skin Perfecting or something like that. Okay, I don't remember what it's called and I don't own it because I, you know, it hurts to spend freaking $30 on a damn primer that's going to mattify my skin. I did get a little sample of it on those little plastic things that they give you at um, Sephora and I did try it and I did like it but like I said I just can't commit myself to buying a primer for $30. So I wanted to give this little guy um, pretty much like a last chance before I actually bought that primer because don't get me wrong that Makeup Forever primer is pretty amazing and it does keep me matte all day but again $30 I, just, I can't. So when a lot of you guys told me to try this, that it really keeps you mad, so I was like, I am all for it. So again, I did get mine off of eBay. If you live, you know, somewhere else where it's not Utah, you might find it at your Walgreens or your Target. I personally have never seen this brand, but I will keep an eye out for that. So here it says to use Shea Well dot on nose, cheeks, chin, and forehead, then blend until completely absorbed. This stuff, oh, I just... I'm so happy that you guys mentioned this to me. This is what I've been wearing on my skin for the past maybe two weeks every day and I love it. This keeps me matte to the T. It says Shine Control Primer. It does exactly that. Now I've been wearing this specifically with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation which I know a lot of you said you haven't or you won't purchase it because it's not the best for oily skin and I completely agree with you it is not the best foundation for oily skin but with this it's just like a perfect combination because this will control my oil where it needs to be controlled and then the rest of my face looks really nice and dewy I didn't wear the foundation today just because I wanted to wear a different foundation but I do have this base underneath my makeup and 
I am telling you, this is going nowhere. As long as you have your foundation on, this is going to stay on your face all freaking day. So I believe that is everything that I wanted to talk about. Again, my top two favorite would definitely have to go to the NYX Angel Veil and the Black Radiance Complexion Perfection Shine Control Primer. If you are oily, please give this a try. If you're oily to like combo skin, I would say definitely give this one a try or maybe try mixing them both. I haven't tried that. And let me know what you guys think if you guys end up picking these up and let me know maybe what other primer is a good mattifying primer because like I said, I'm always on the hunt for one. I'm out of breath. That's a lot. Alright guys, so that is everything for today's Waste or Worth It Wednesday. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And that is everything, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!